Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we explore the urban lifestyle and jungle survival. Today we're going to have a look at this paracord grenade. I've never opened these before, so I'm going to do it right here and we are going to check it out. But first, if you watch this channel regularly but have not subscribed, please do so and support the channel. Thanks a lot. So I got these paracord grenades from a Singapore dealer called Black Tactical. They sell army gear and this was actually on sale, which is why I got it. Now the original price is uh, about 12 US dollars if we were to convert it, uh, but it was on sale for $1.50 each USD after conversion. And uh, I thought that's a great deal, so why not just give it a shot and see what it's about. I got two of them, uh, each in one color, so this is kind of a army green and this is black. So they're the same, uh, but we're gonna open just one and I'm gonna open the black one. I've no idea what this brand is. Um, over here, there's a card uh, which gave a website, survivalhacks.com. I went to it, they don't really sell it. Uh, it's more of a blog site. So I'm not really sure uh, who makes this. I did go onto Amazon. Uh, there is a brand called The Friendly Swede and they call this a carabiner grenade survival kit. So maybe it's the same thing, same style. Uh, but basically you get all these items inside, well not inside because the carabiner is on the outside over here. But other than that, you get tin foil, an eye knife, uh, cotton tinder, fire starter, of course the paracord, weights, uh, fishing lines, floats, fishing line again. So uh, fishing hooks and fishing lines. So I guess this is really, you know, survival with fire starting and fishing capabilities uh, in mind. So we are going to pop this open. So I guess the way you use this is you'd have the carabiner, hook it just like that, and you could hook it to your belt or to your pouch. And I believe this is the eye knife. So we are gonna try to open this up. Uh, I've not done it because I'm sure once you open it up, it's gonna be hard to put it back. But I'm gonna try here. And uh, okay, let's maybe try this. I do see the end here. And let's see if I can just pull this open and see if I can kind of just unravel it. Yeah, I can, I can do, I can do that. I can, that's basically how you do it. So they just heated this up to melt that, to harden it, but basically they threaded it through. And uh, now all I need to do is to kind of unravel it. And I've finally undone all the paracord. That took quite a few minutes. I can see that in a survival situation, if I want to fish, I see how it works. The fish will die of boredom and I can catch it easily. Okay, let's just see roughly how much paracord I get. I'm just going to do a rough kind of measurement to, yeah, about two and a half, almost three meters of paracord. Uh, that's pretty decent. So paracord also has inner cord so that inner strands and if you cut this you can actually get access to those individual strands and you can remove them so if it's a seven cord uh seven core paracord you can get seven strands inside so not too bad if not you can use this as cordage it's long enough for quite uh you know a bit of task so quite useful now let's have a look at this kit itself so everything is wrapped up in the aluminum foil uh, which you can use uh, to boil water to collect water could maybe to some extent use it as a signal device. Uh, so everything's wrapped up inside and the way this works is this aluminum foil, which I can feel it's pretty heavy duty, basically wraps around this eye knife over here. So not sure how sharp that is, doesn't feel very sharp at all. Uh, there is kind of a small saw, not sure what you're gonna saw through with this. Uh, but this definitely needs to be sharper uh, for this to be effective. Um, it's, it's a really tiny knife. Uh, again, not sure how effective that would be, but let's, let's open this up. Uh, okay, even this is a bit tough now because the reason why I'm trying to be gentle is in a survival situation, if you are opening this and using it, you want to be very careful. You do not want to tear the aluminum foil because it is creased, so it would be weak along those lines. I already tore that a bit. So you want to be 
to be very careful because if you're going to use it for a container for example uh, if you're going to collect a little bit of water and you need to kind of boil it uh, you do not want any holes but I can see even as I open this up see it's it's already torn you can see those holes so not really by my fault but just the nature of how it's put together so again using this then as a container might be tough so I know this is going to bore you guys but I'm just trying to do this as carefully as I can just to see what we can preserve if we were to really use it and again uh, what I'm thinking about is time in a survival situation you might not have that much time to you know slowly do this and I'm in a nice environment I can you know I, my, my fingers are okay I'm not tired and I imagine if you are in a survival situation where you're tired you're cold maybe or you're exhausted this would be quite hard to do but okay I've got that one hole here I think there's a smaller hole over here but maybe generally as a container still might work and here we've got some Ziploc bags. I'm surprised they put things in Ziploc bags, but I guess that makes sense to kind of keep them together. And uh, let's try to open this one first. It's pretty well sealed. And we've got some, this is some tinder. That's the white stuff, so it's some cotton. Uh, something can fluff up. So we've got some good dry tinder there. We've got some weights. We have uh, a ferro rod. So this is the fire starter. So maybe you could strike let's just give it a shot so first you have to try to scrape off yeah you scrape off the coating and yeah you do get some sparks at least so that, that's pretty good uh, no these are the weights over here uh, and I'll say I, I'm I, I don't fish so uh, and in in the areas that I'm in at least for jungle hiking and stuff uh, really no place to fish so uh, that's not something i would do and that's not something i really do but you expert fishermen would know all this stuff and would know whether this is actually good enough for your needs and i, I do believe you have the basic things here in order to create a, a, a lure line and then uh, catch your fish if you need so there you have it all the items in this paracord survival grenade so we've got all the fishing stuff over here from the weights to the lines, the hooks to the floats. We've got the aluminum foil and then some fire starting capabilities over here, the carabiner and the paracord itself. And of course, that instruction card. Now, for the price I paid $1.50 US, uh, definitely this would be worth it. I mean, you could never even put this together yourself for that price. Even at the $12 original retail price, I think it's going to be tough to put this together yourself for that amount of money. Uh, because you have to buy you know things in multiples and stuff like that but i'm not sure just how useful this particular set of items would be well in my case as i told you at least the environment i'm in the fishing stuff won't apply to me uh, the rest would but i know for you guys uh, where fishing would be critical for survival then maybe this would actually work for you so it is i think kind of well thought out it is well packaged it will be waterproof or at least greatly water resistance and it is a small package so if you had nothing at all definitely this would be better uh, than nothing at all but you could also try to put together your own survival kit uh, based on your own needs because based on the lo geographical location you are and what's a survival situation you will encounter and you put that kit together and it doesn't have to be in the form of a you know a grenade like this it could be in a small container a small tin a small canister or even a small ziploc bag that you you know double reinforce uh, but overall i think not too bad i'm glad i had this little experience about what do you think of this paracord grenade let me know your thoughts in the comments below and have you ever used any of these before within the context of a survival kit well i hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and if you like the content in general please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell thanks for watching talk to you soon